For more than 40 years, Burger Chef was one of the biggest fast food chains in the United States. Based out of Indiana, the chain was founded in 1954, and it grew to operate 1,050 locations at its peak in the 1970s. The Big Chef and Super Chef burgers were two of their most popular menu items, and they also invented a kid's meal they called the Fun Burger, which came with a burger, dessert, and a toy. Burger Chef even secured the licensing rights to the biggest movie of the 1970s in Star Wars. Things were looking pretty good for Burger Chef, right up until the company was sold to Hardee's in 1982. Most of the locations were converted over to Hardee's, and the remaining stores that were already close to another Hardee's were just flat out closed by the end of the year. Harold and Helen Kite opened the very first Burger Queen restaurant in Winter Haven, Florida in 1956. In 1961, business partners out of Kentucky bought franchise rights and would eventually buy out the Florida-based company altogether. By December of 1973, Burger Queen was opening their 50th location and would reach 171 by 1981. Locations could be found in Florida, Kentucky, Indiana, and Tennessee. But in June of 1981, Burger Queen Enterprises announced that it was changing its name to better separate itself from the confusion with Burger King. They settled on the name Druthers and maintained the same menu. But throughout the 1980s and 1990s, the number of locations dwindled. As of today, there is only one remaining Druthers restaurant remaining in Kentucky. After well-known country singer and Grand Ole Opry comedian Minnie Pearl lent her name to Minnie Pearl's Chicken in the 1960s, the business quickly boomed, and at one point there were over 500 locations across the country. The franchising model allowed them to grow quickly, however overexpansion, poor management, and accounting problems led to an investigation by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. By the end of the 1960s, Minnie Pearl's Chicken was closed for good. Minnie Pearl was pretty embarrassed to have her name attached to the failure. However, she did make quite a lot of money from the venture. Henry's Hamburgers saw success in the 1950s and 1960s, offering 10 burgers for a buck. Founded in Chicago, Illinois in 1954, Henry's Hamburgers was a branch of Bressler's Ice Cream Company, and they grew to have 200 locations during the 1960s. Then soon after, in the 1970s, the chain saw a decline. Unlike Burger King, Wendy's, and McDonald's, Henry's Hamburgers failed to add a drive through or drive-in feature, which led to locations closing. If you were a big fan of Henry's Hamburgers, you're in luck because one location still exists. Benton Harbor, Michigan is the home of the only remaining location. Founded in 1956, the Miami-based Lums was known for hot dogs steamed in beer, and at one point they had over 400 locations. The chain was so successful, they were able to purchase Caesars Palace in Las Vegas for $60 million in 1969. Lums even had Milton Berle starring as their national spokesperson during the 1970s, but even that wasn't enough to keep the hot dog chain out of trouble. After changing hands a couple of times, Lums filed for bankruptcy in 1982 and would go on to close all of their locations by 1983. In 1957, Gino's Hamburgers was founded in Maryland, and it was owned by Baltimore Colts great Gino Marchetti. Gino's was known for hamburgers, and they had the Sirloiner, the Jumbo Gino, and the Gino Giant. The restaurant also served fried chicken because they owned the franchising rights to Kentucky Fried Chicken for the mid-Atlantic states. At its peak, Gino's Hamburgers had 359 locations open, but it was eventually purchased in 1982 by the Marriott Corporation. Following the deal, Marriott rebranded locations as Roy Rogers restaurants, and the final Gino's location closed its doors in 1986. Pup and Taco was founded in 1956 by Big Donut founder Russ Wendell in Southern California. During its heyday, the chain had more than 100 restaurants around the region. As the name suggests, they were known for hot dogs and tacos. 
but the menu also featured a variety of slushes and burgers. The Tonight Show host, Johnny Carson, loved the place, and it was also mentioned in the Chevy Chase movie, Fletch. Taco Bell would go on to buy out 99 of the Pup and Taco locations in 1984, and a few locations even hung on into 2010. Wetson's was inspired by the original McDonald's location in San Bernardino, California. The chain operated from 1959 to 1975 and was known for its signature Big W Burger, as well as 15-cent burgers and 10-cent fries. At their peak, there were approximately 70 locations in the greater New York City area, but they were unable to compete with the likes of Burger King and McDonald's. This forced them to close in 1975 after an ill-fated merger with Nathan's Famous but their burger and fries combo for just a quarter couldn't be beat. Delights of America was a fast food chain that offered healthier options compared to their competitors. Delights was founded in Georgia in 1978 by Doug Shelley and Jeffrey Miller. They began franchising in 1983, and by 1985 they had more than 100 stores. But when chains like McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's began to add salads, baked potatoes, and other items to their menus, it spelled the end for delights. The chain stopped franchising in 1986 and were beginning to close restaurants. Chapter 11 bankruptcy came next, and in 1987, 90% of the remaining company-owned stores were sold to Hardee's, with most of the locations converting to Hardee's restaurants. Kenny Rogers Roasters was launched by singer Kenny Rogers in 1991 along with KFC mogul John Brown. The chain specialized in rotisserie chicken, and they soon expanded to 425 locations. Even with Kenny Rogers' fame, it just wasn't enough to keep things profitable. By 1998, the chain was bought out of bankruptcy by Nathan's. Following restructuring, locations began to close, and by 2011, all U.S. locations were closed. The company was then sold to a franchisee from Asia, where Kenny Rogers Roasters can still be found. If you enjoyed this video, click on this playlist to watch even more. And as always, thank you so much for watching.